same kitchen where she sews the most complicated patterns. There are puzzling pieces Alex Woodward can't seem to stitch together her health care plan. It's basically like having no insurance at all. The mother of two has been paying for doctor's visits mostly out of pocket this year. She can barely afford to keep the visits, but to miss the appointments, that's something the family cannot afford either. You think twice about making those appointments. Is it really necessary? You know, I thought about my kids. Could I, could I find some other way to get them care that isn't going to cost me $400 today? Enroll in a plan today. And better, which calls itself America's number one marketplace health insurance, does not provide coverage at all, Woodward claims. At least that's what the doctors listed on the site in her 20 mile radius told her. I called all 25. None of them took and better. Some of them never did. Atlanta News First investigates make calls of our own. We reached out to 27 primary care providers listed in our area as in-network on Ambetter's site. Of those that responded, seven said they do not take the insurance at all. Six told us they're not taking new Ambetter patients or it depends on the specific plan. Only five confirmed they do take the insurance. It is a systematic issue. We're seeing uh, the same types of experiences across all 26 states. A new class action lawsuit filed in the Northern District of Illinois accuses Ambetter and its parent company, Centin, of intentionally under-delivering its in-network coverage to defraud customers. The Chicago-based attorney suing Justin Boley alleges it constitutes a pattern of racketeering across the U.S. It's an illegal scheme to capture consumers as they move out of Medicaid by promising them provider coverage uh, that is actually, in fact, uh, egregiously insufficient and inaccurate. The consequences that flow from that are devastating. Ambetter denies the allegations. Its lawyers requested a judge dismiss the case. Although some Atlanta area medical providers tell us they do not or no longer take the insurance because the company has not paid out claims, Ambetter told us in part it's dedicated to maintaining a health care provider network in Georgia that meets or exceeds regulatory standards. As provider availability changes for a variety of reasons, we're constantly monitoring and refreshing data to ensure our information is current and accurate. There are two things that you have to consider when you're choosing your health insurance. Um, the cost and access. Patient care advocate Cindy Gatton recommends healthcare.gov, a resource to verify network coverage, to study a company before enrollment. Gatton believes what's happening with Ambetter is just a symptom of a greater problem in healthcare industry shortages of staff and lack of federally mandated network standards. This is an issue across the country because we don't have as many doctors going into primary care, for example, but it's an issue that, that we have to try to solve. 